Hi, welcome, welcome to Bringing the Zoo to You. My name is Jenny. I am the small primate keeper here at the Rolling Hills Zoo. And one of the animals I take care of is this little rascal, Wiley the Kawadi. He is our male Kawadi. Um, we do have two girls as well, um, but they do not go in together. Uh, normally males are sep or solitary, so he is by himself, and then the two girls will share the yard with um, when he's inside. So, but he is ready. We are gonna be doing a training session here with Wiley. And what he gets for a reward is his favorite thing in the world, which is just some cooked chicken and some mice. So he'll get the mice at the very end. That'll be his jackpot. But he apparently is very ready to go. So he's not very patient. So we'll, we'll start now. So. Oh, you gotta hit it. There you go. Good boy. Riley, shoot. Hold. Poke. Good boy. He is a little slow when it comes to eating, so we have to give him some time in between pieces. Target. Good boy. Hold. Poke. Good boy. Target. Good boy. Shoot. Hold. Hold. Good boy. Okay. Couple more targets and we'll probably be done. Target. No, you gotta hit it. Target. Target. There you go. So the purpose of target is it's just a good baseline. Um, so we can are able to move them, move him places, and it's a good way to train new behaviors. Like if we want to get them in the crate or in the chute, that's kind of how we started. Good boy. And then the shoot is more just uh, for medical purposes if we ever have to um, give him a shot or anything like that. Um, then we, are, we do have some things here um, that we can close him off with. He is just not comfortable with that yet. So uh, we're just working on making sure he's comfortable in the shoot. Finally target. Now if you found more chicken. You need to stop being lazy. Um, so he doesn't get a reward unless he touches the target with his nose. So sometimes he's a little lazy and doesn't want to do it. So we just kind of move on and uh, give him, I'm going to give him his mice here quick. And random little pieces of chicken. Um, so here at the zoo, um, with all of our animals, um, and most zoos actually, use operant conditioning, which is pretty much, um, we only reward good behaviors. Um, we do not punish um, if they don't do the behavior that we are asking for. Um, we just ignore it if it's not the right behavior. Um, and then we try again, and then if after a couple times they aren't wanting to do the behavior we want them to do, we just move on to a different behavior. Um, because we always want to end the session on our terms, really. Um, so we want to end the session with a good, like them doing something correct, and then we'll end the session. Um, but that being said, um, our um, training sessions here are completely voluntary. So if they don't want to participate, well, we just don't train that day. It's fine. Um, so, and maybe we'll Sometimes if we have a little bit extra time later in the day, um, we will maybe come back and maybe try training again. Um, but again, it's a completely voluntary basis. So it's not anything that if they don't, if they don't feel like working for their food, then we just don't worry about training them and stuff like that. Um, he will still always get his chicken. Um, it is part of his diet, so it's not like extra. always gets 100 grams of chicken every day um, and then he gets the two mice on Sundays and Thursdays 
Um, so he doesn't get mice every day, but he very much enjoys his mice. So he <laughs> has a grand old time with them. And it all does kind of encourage natural behaviors um, because he would eat small rodents and things like that in the wild. Um, Kawadi are related to uh, raccoons, so they kind of have that feature. So, if you have any questions about our training session or about Kawadi in general, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments, and we will get them get back to you as soon as we can um, about those questions. And thank you again for joining us, for bringing the zoo to you, and hopefully we will see you at our next session.